Hello, cruisers, and welcome to CruiseRx, your cruise prescription. Well, it seems like Carnival Cruise Lines is knocking on the door of Royal Caribbean, owner of the biggest cruise ships in the world. Carnival just made an order. We're going to talk about that. So let's go ahead and get into it. in yesterday's video I talked about some of the remodeling that we're doing for this new studio so there may be some background noise in today's video because they are here now working and I do not want to tell them to stop slow down anything so if you hear a little bit a little bit of noise it's not your speakers it is those guys doing work and they're doing a great job but let's talk about carnival so last week carnival placed an order for three new ships and it's going to be a new class form and they're going to be the biggest ships for carnival and they're going to be lng powered so liquid natural gas powered and they will rival royal caribbean's uh newest ship the utopia and the icon of the seas so utopia is the last of the oasis class ships and her tonnage is 236,000 gross tons and when they talk about gross tons in a cruise ship it's not that the weight of the ship is the internal volume of the ship but to put that in perspective so utopia is 236,000 pounds or gross tons and harmony of the seas an oasis class ship is 226,000 gross tons this new class of ship for carnival will be 230,000 gross tons. So bigger than some of the Oasis class ships. For comparison for Carnival, their Jubilee, the newest ship that was launched in 2023, is 182,000 gross tons. So it is the biggest for Carnival, and they are starting to knock on that door of Royal Caribbean with the biggest ships. Even though they won't be bigger than the Icon of the Seas, which is 248,000 gross tons, it's going to be pretty big. Now, Carnival has ordered five new ships in 2024, so they are preparing for some massive growth. And they're also bringing in five ships from their sister brands and moving them over to Carnival. So they're going to take the ships from their sister brands, rebrand them as Carnival cruise ships, and sail under that umbrella. So they're looking for some massive expansion in the market. I think it's in response to Royal, who has been growing rapidly. And really, when it comes to the cruise industry, you have Carnival and you have Royal as the two big giants out there as far as the number of their ships and the different destinations that they have. Now, as always, please be sure to like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button. And most importantly, click that notification button so you know every time that we post a video. So now with this new order, Carnival is going to be taking delivery of one new ship starting in 2025 and then in 2027, 28, 29, 31, and 33. So new ships coming out rapidly from Carnival Cruise Lines. And these ships are going to have a capacity of 3,000 staterooms or 8,000 gas, so a big change. And we talked about the size differences in the ships compared to the Oasis class and icon of Royal Caribbean. And this is gonna give Carnival 16 ships on LNG versus diesel. So a much more environmentally friendly cruise ship. And a lot of ships are moving not only to LNG, but to shore power capabilities. In Miami, uh, Miami has a capability for ships that are equipped connect a cruise ship to shore power ships then can shut down their engines while they're in port so it just moves in the right direction as far as making cruise ships uh, less of an impact to the environment while they're sailing so this is a big step for carnival cruise lines it's going to give some competition to royal caribbean which is good because the more competition out there the better the pricing gets for those of us that like to cruise. So that is it for this video. We hope to see you in the next video.